Ankh here today with the Archerm deck. I got a lot of Archerm variants. Archerm had their moment in the store with the spotlight. And I thought, you know, I really would like to make a deck, show off all the variants at once, and see if it can actually win games. And I thought it would be bad, and it is a bad deck. But it was competitive enough to actually win some games in Infinite. It had a 45% win rate, which I'll take as a win overall. Basically, the way this wins is locking down lanes. You've got Storm, you've got Gene Grey to force you and your opponent to play into a particular lane. Uh, you can win back those flooded lanes with the Storm or, you know, potentially cheese out your opponent because of Doctor Doom. Uh, there's a lot of little fun interactions in the deck. There's lots of surprises like they may not expect you to Valkyrie them. The White Queen could steal an actual good card that your opponent's using, and then you have something extra. Uh, and then you can just steal all your opponent's cards with Loki. So that's just a decent backup plan. Although I didn't really find myself using Loki too, too often, frankly. But it was a fun challenge. You know, I know a lot of people right now are trying the Adam Warlock challenge, trying to win with Adam Warlock in their deck. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy the games. Called on, you know, I'm on call, so to speak, to newborn duties. And so live streaming kind of makes it more difficult to do that. Have like potential interruption but everybody is asleep in the house right now it's kind of the time where it should be good for at least an hour here that only benefits us really so we don't have the <laughs> very many big cards so I guess we'll Storm that one. Wind, aid my hand. Oh, that's fun. Oh, our Valkyrie kind of backfired on us. Hit <laughs> up to their Deadpool. Uh, we don't have that many cards for the Loki, but it does give us <laughs> a lead there. I'm gonna do it. We can play Shannon into that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, they probably have a Lyoth then, huh? Let's do that. Split the power. Guess they have Jeff. It's not uh, like if I was <laughs> if I was on ladder, I'd probably retreat right now. But. Wind, aid my hand. Oh, they're they're just kind of a lockdown deck then. Wind, aid it's my It's the lockdown hand. and then a Lyoth you kind of deck. Jeff, rescue. Come on, Shanna, do me proud. <laughs> How many times do you get a Shanna almost win? Man, that was pretty close. Oh, I thought for sure we won. But, uh... I wouldn't say that we low rolled because most of these are 1-2s. But... Wow. Pretty close. So... I, I don't want to be the kind of person where I feel like I have to say this is the next best thing. But if I do feel like something's good, even with limited play on it. I'll, I'll say that. Nexus. Nexus might be good. But we don't have generally a lot of power in a small location, so maybe we just override it, actually. The only worry... I kinda, we kind of have to if we want to make the most of the storm ability, but the only problem is they're likely to play into it like that. With Black Swan, they can fill it up, especially with all the stones. Okay, we can Doom, though. Although, we probably will just Loki here. So our Doom probably won't exist if we do that. It makes me not want to... Loki, because... The Doom's pretty good. I mean, they can move a card over. They can move their Power Stone over if they so desire. But 
but we can doom next turn with this. Be tied there. We can Valkyrie middle or something. Right even. Especially if they get a nice high roll off that lockjaw. Because they probably only play one more card into there. Doom rules all. I think not having priority is a good thing. Pulls this out though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Undo. We don't want to pull it out because it's the way we win this lane. I still think we probably lose here. Is there a better play? Not really. Solid. <laughs> oh, our first real win. No retreat win. Victory. Against a lockjaw. I mean, this person probably is just trying to do the uh, the black swan challenge for the gold. But I don't think that's a terrible deck. I think it's at least a tier two deck, like a lockjaw Thanos deck. For a long time, it's basically only been destroy. And, well, I guess right now it's probably like destroy and like the Corvus Glaive ramp. For that. There's like a different kind of ramp type of thing. Just a lockjaw? I don't remember. Uh, there's not a lot of good cards to play into here, so I guess we'll just play a Carnage into there. Yeah, it's a full archer. <laughs> there's actually two Jean Grey archers, I believe. I think one was a Spotlight Cache, which I don't have. Probably gonna be scared to play into here. Just play conservatively? Nope, they're not. <laughs> well, that's not Win. so good. We do still have Doom and Mr. Fantastic in this deck. Uh, I mean, White Queen's not bad. 4 6 is pretty strong. Chances are they play at least 4 power. No, they don't. Alright. Having Annihilus is pretty solid, because that limits what they can do. They could play Sentry and then try to send it over with Annihilus. But if we have Annihilus, then it's just about maintaining to not have priority. Kind of like this, though. If we play into here, and then we Valkyrie... I guess maybe I should have done it middle. We can play Dazzler and Doom. We have priority, but they never played Sentry or anything. We can't play Dazzler Doom, we can play Dazzler with Arrow. Pulls the Lady Deathstrike though, which is kind of awkward. We can play Arrow plus Dazzler. That doesn't make any sense though. I think that's kind of our best play. It's kind of bad though. Pulls over forces. It's effectively a five power card, so maybe we're just better off playing Annihilus, because we're conceding this lane. Arrow mid. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Victory. With arrow mid, we'd be uh, we'd be down by one point though, so we can't really play arrow mid without. You can't play both Dazzler and Arrow mid because of Jean Grey. Maybe, well, actually I probably have. Probably about 
It's hard to say what cubes Breaking are news. even worth when you're in infinite, because you can get like 50 cubes, which sounds like a lot. It would be a lot in ladder, but it kind of just depends on the MMR of your opponent. Thank you. The gender bender low key is pretty cool. I'm guessing they did that on the show. I haven't seen low key. Well, Deadpool destroy. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty rough. If we are gonna storm, we pro you know the earlier the better. Double on reveal is kind of scary, so maybe we just shut that down. Since we know they have Wong. Wind aid my so I'm guessing they have a uh, hazmat? Some kind of toxic deck like that? Light Queen's kind of cool. Fills up our hand though, we don't draw, but there's nothing we particularly want to draw super bad anyway. Uh, we can't reduce them with Valkyrie because of Luke Cage. That's something we have to keep in mind. We can play Wong and then Double Doom. It's kind of good. To say the least. I think that's our move. What are they going to do though? They're just going to negative me? And then probably Owen in it? So they're going to have... Hazmat's what, 2, so 10, 14. We'll be winning here if we have double doom. Uh-oh. Hit the storm, I guess? Because it's zero anyway. <laughs> well, it's, <laughs> it's kind of scary if they gambit here. If they gambit, then it's a 50-50. If they hit our white queen, we're actually fine. <laughs> Are ye worthy? Are ye worthy? Doom rules all. <laughs> uh, the double doom, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Victory. Uh, people really don't expect double doom. I mean, this deck obviously not set up for that to do normally, but uh, I've lost to the Double Doom a few times. I think Doom's a pretty solid card to include in a Wong deck because of that. It's a lot of power. It wasn't a bad play. I mean, it reduced me to zero, right? But it's still only a Tide Lane. I don't know. Yeah, tempo play. Ojo world. Let's see. Sunspot. Uh, you know, it doesn't tell us a whole, whole lot necessarily. I'm thinking in Shinan. But I feel like if that is in Shinan, they're less likely to play into the altar of death. Wind they do not. My hand. It was a good Cosmo play, though. Uh, let's steal their deck. Yeah. Our hand's not that great. They're going to have a hard time, I feel like, beating 7 power, right? They have a Loki? Do we want to pull it out? I mean, they uh, they could have Doom, so I think we want to pull that out. Oh, should have played the Sunspot. Oh, well. I mean, we're not going to... We don't have any <laughs> mana floating anyway. So. Doom There's the Doom. Uh, like, Mystique's not really going to hit anything that's all that great, right? They have to be afraid of me playing a bunch of stuff here. I guess we want a Cosmo in case they like, I don't know what they would have. Valkyrie? They have my Valkyrie. 
Uh, we could just try and take this land, but chances are they're going to play one card here. So, because they don't really have that much power from my deck. Like, if they have arrow... They probably win. They win. Jane Foster. Rip. Guess we should have went all out for Mojo World, huh? I didn't think they'd go all out for left. Rip. Rip, rip. They gotta go... Arnax. My favorite location. Is this a good Tarnax deck, though? We can change it with Storm if we so desire. Doom's a great play into Tarnax. Valk's a good play into Tarnax. So, kind of a good Tarnax deck. The question is, do I want to keep the Dazzler? I think I do. Because of that, we kind of want the rock. It'll help fill up our board. So that's going to be a plus five. They're almost certainly going to move that there at some point. Green Goblin, huh? Well, at least uh, <laughs> it helps with the Dazzler to fill it up a little more quickly. We want to just low-key? We have a I mean, Doom into there's so good, though. You can do that and storm this lane. It's kind of cool. I guess Doom's not that good if I end up filling up <laughs> the right lane already. Wind, aid my hand. Okay. Pull the Mbaku, or will this pull nothing since technically that's a new card now? I think it won't pull it, right? Kind of adds just an RNG element at that point, because then it's a question of can uh, <laughs> it'll fill up our middle lane too with Dr. Doom, so our Dazzler will get an extra plus two, but we're still almost certainly gonna be losing it right. Jean Grey is kind of good though, it just really messes with them right here, like they can't play into the flooding lane. Very easily. Ooh. Okay, I'm assuming they have a Nihilus then, huh? We can still play Doom into there, which they may or may not be expecting. And the average 6 drop's gonna be a beat out an average 5 drop. Probably don't have another one drop to play in, so it's just a single five. And if they don't have an Alice, they're losing right. Uh, I guess if they have a Lyth, we lose. Which that kind of a deck probably runs if they have it. Okay, what does it turn into? <laughs> Nice. Just don't be Destroyer. That's why I love Tarnax, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Tarnax is so much fun. I hope they bring that back as a hot location soon. <laughs> is that a, a Madam Web joke? Pepsi Cola? I didn't watch Madam Web, but supposedly it's a giant Pepsi ad. Double Doom's really good. That was Black Cat. Oh! Well, we can override it with a Storm Lane. Which maybe they, they do, we do because they're gonna be a little nervous to play into Warrior Falls, possibly? Play their turn three card, which could get destroyed later. I, uh, I'll snap back. I, I'm liking this. This is a pretty decent, like, we can get two of their cards with White Queen. That's not that great, but the Double Doom, I think, is pretty great. Wind, aid my hand. Okay, 
so this is, uh, I'm guessing this is normally a Corvus Glaive deck, but they just didn't draw the Corvus, or maybe they didn't want to discard their whole hand. I mean, if they didn't want to discard their whole hand, they could have played it here. So they probably just didn't draw it. Loki's not very good against that deck, because that kind of relies on ramp options. But we're likely to just play Doom on turn six, so... There's, it's technically one more point, but I feel like it's not a good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, if they don't have Hella, they can't play Hella because they never ramped up. They're gonna be locked out. I think we just won. If I play, I don't really know Jean Grey. I guess we don't wanna do two then. Play that there. Like since it'll be locked down, I can still play out of it, right? That's my understanding. If not, then I just learned a valuable lesson about Jean Grey. But, they're done. I mean, there's no reason for them to finish it out, huh? Victory. Easy peasy. They didn't have a single card to play? Maybe not. They only had two cards. They only had one card in hand? And it may have been the Hella, and they were like, I finally had the Hella, and I'm locked out. Not too bad.